Hey friends, welcome to this week's virtual Sunday School. We're in the eighth week as we've been working through these weeks to learn more about the Beatitudes, those promises and blessings which Jesus gave as part of his Sermon on the Mount. This week we are going to learn about what it means to be pure in heart. We're going to explore what it means to join together our hearts, our minds, and our bodies to be whole human beings. And how sometimes purity disrupts the world in order to be faithful. We're going to receive a blessing just like we do each and every week. And I'll send you out with a challenge. There's also an activity this week, which I think you're going to like. So let's settle in and get started. Welcome. Our question to get us going this week is about your heart. And the question is this. How many times does your heart beat in a minute? So take some time to pause the video right now, but as you do, find your pulse either on your wrist or on your neck, or you can even place your hand over your heart and have someone time you or time yourself with 60 seconds, counting how many times you feel your heart beat. Go ahead and when we come back, we'll get into our discussion for the day. So were you surprised to find out just how many times your heart beats in a minute? I have a Fitbit and it actually keeps track of my resting heart rate. And usually my resting heart rate is somewhere around 64 to 65 beats per minute, which is pretty neat to know. Uh, It helps us understand that our heart actually uh, is always at work inside us. It's part of who we are and what we do and today, We're going to hear again about this sixth promise that Jesus gives uh, as part of the Beatitudes. This week's Beatitude, Jesus says this, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. So Jesus cares about our whole selves. He cares about our bodies. He cares about our hearts. He cares about our minds. He cares about everything about us. Go ahead and put your hands on your heart right now. As you can see, it's at the center of my body. It's a beating heart that keeps us alive. And it's also the center of how we live our lives. We carry our hearts in what we most want, what we most need, and what we most feel. And that has a big impact on how we act. See, what's inside of us directs the outside of us, or what's inside our hearts directs how we live. This is why Jesus cares so much about our hearts, because Jesus cares about how we act, about how we live our lives. This is why the pure in heart will be blessed. To be pure in heart shows love for God. It shows love for your neighbor. It shows love for you. Through how we act, through how we speak, and also how we think. You see, how we act, how we speak, and how we think reveals what we call our integrity. Integrity is when what you do outside reflects who you are on the inside working toward wholeness for yourself and creating that same kind of wholeness in the world for everybody. You see, to love God and love your neighbor, when you do that, you're not focused just on yourself. We're not, you're not focused on how you look so that other people can see you as better. You're focused on what is right. Now, what does it mean to live with integrity? What does it mean to live in ways that we really don't care about how we're seen? Well, that means that we live and we act in ways that benefit others, ourselves, our friends, 
our neighbors, and even people we don't know. For example, the dishwasher always seems to be need to be unloaded at our house. Maybe it does at your house too. Now, maybe integrity looks like this. Maybe at some point in time you go and you unload the dishwasher without mom or dad even asking you, without anyone asking you, and you just do it because you know it needs to be done. Because you know it will make your parents happy. It will make the others in your house happy because that chore has been done. Not just for you, but for them. Maybe also integrity looks like this. That you pick up your toys and you put away your things and you tidy up the house. Not because later on someone will give you a reward, but because you know it will help everybody in the house to be safe, to have a clean and tidy environment, a comfortable place to sit and enjoy uh, their time off, their time just living at home. You see, purity of heart helps us make outward choices based on love and desire for wholeness for ourselves and our world. We will show compassion, mercy, and love because we know that's what we're created to do and who we're created to be. When we do, we will see or we will experience God. There are these things called the fruits of the Spirit in Paul's letter to the Galatians. And there's nine of them. The fruits of the Spirit are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. When we experience these things, we are experiencing God. We'll experience and understand and see others caring for other people. And we'll experience ourselves caring for others as well. And we'll also experience God caring for all people. And when we experience the fruits of the Spirit, it gives us encouragement and it gives us hope to keep going, to keep living, to keep doing good, to keep on being pure in heart. That is what Jesus most desperately wants for us. And that is why Jesus says, that those who are pure in heart will see God. That is such a blessing. So let me give you a blessing just as I've given you a blessing each and every week. And remember, how do we receive a blessing? We've learned this each and every week. We receive it like a gift. So we can hold out our hands like this and we can receive this blessing as I speak it over you. May God bless you inside and out, from your heart to your mind and to your whole body. Hey friends, just wanna remind you to utilize the family page that comes with these emails and can be found on our website each and every week correlating to this lesson. On one side, it talks about, and you can read all about what we've learned this week, and then on the other side, there's a coloring sheet, which you can do. You might be looking at it right now as it's up on the screen. And then over on the side of that coloring page, there are questions that you can share with your family and discuss what we're learning about these beatitudes, these blessings, and how God says that you are blessed. I hope that you're using them and that it's bringing you and your family closer together. All right, friends, now it's time for us to get to our activity this week. Again, uh, this week there is an activity page which you can find on our website, myhtlc.org, and then you can click on the Children's tab, and uh, it should be there on that page. Just look for the Week 8 activity page. Also, it's been attached to the email announcing this week's virtual Sunday School. Uh, and so on that page, you'll see it as, it's, uh, as I'm talking about this. You'll see it on the screen. Uh, it's called a purely me poem and there are different sections which we're going to get to in just a second but this purely me poem it starts like this 
I am me inside and out, up and down and all around. And then it goes on to say, on the outside you see. And there's a space for you to write down the words or even draw pictures about if somebody were to look at you, what they would see. So for, for me, uh, it might say, on the outside you see a pair of glasses or maybe blue eyes or maybe brown hair, right? You can write things like that or draw pictures like that. And then in the next section it says, on the inside you will find. And you can write those things that are on the inside, maybe about what you feel, about what you care about. It can be any number of things. And then finally, there is space where you can write or draw about this, where it says, and something you might not know about me by looking is. And then you can share something that not everyone knows about you. That's our activity for this week. So go ahead and pause that video. Or if you don't want to do it right now, you can go ahead and save it for a different time later in the week. And that's okay. But remember, just be sure to think about what we're learning about and how God cares about what is on the inside, how Jesus cares about our inside, as well as how we act on the outside. Well, that brings us to the end of another session of Virtual Sunday School. I hope you've liked it, and I hope that you're sharing it with friends and family if you have liked it, and that throughout the week, you continue to discuss what we learn about these blessings and promises that we have from Jesus, that we have from God, that even though the world isn't always how we hope it would be, that we have a God that cares and loves us, and not only that we would have it, but our outward actions would also share as well. So just like we do each and every week, we're going to finish up with a prayer. And remember, we've got a new posture for prayer. We can hold our hands like this, just like we're receiving a very large gift. So you can bow your head and repeat after me as I pray us out. Loving God, you are always real and true in what you do and promise. Please help us live our outward lives from pure inward hearts. We want to think, speak, and act because of our love for you and your world. We want to see your spirit active and at work. And all God's children said, Amen. Well, until next week, everyone, I want you to be safe. I want you to stay well, and I want you to know that God blesses you.